Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, dearest Kara Army. Welcome to the another glorious broadcast live on twitch.tv slash Eroctic. For those of you that watched the yesterday's live stream, you would know that we reached <laughs> the rock bottom. That we are only having 50,000 rubles in our stash. I was doing everything that I can to increase that number. But because of the yesterday's challenge, it was impossible. So today, we're gonna do our best to grind multiple different locations to achieve as high number as possible. No, stop the music. But today, Skarmi, we're gonna do our best to increase that number as high as possible. We're gonna do multiple different variations of the loot hoarding money making approaches in Tarkov, dude. We're gonna do stash runs. We're gonna do nighttime. We're gonna do daytime. We're gonna hit uh, really, really good uh, <laughs> locations in interchange, dude. It is gonna be great. No keys, by the way. I'm level 16, 17 pleb, man. I'm someone that has nothing to lose, man. man. I want at least 10 million rubles in four hours. That's too much. What the f am I saying? I want at least 5 million rubles until the end of the stream today. Is it possible? I guess there is only one way to, uh, to figure it out, dude. I'm gonna have to figure this shit out first. We're gonna clean the top part so you're flexible with getting in and getting out. We are gonna monitor how much cash do we have before starting the runs the cancer runs the cancerous runs the most cancerous as fucking shit on the platform dude you feel me and you're gonna mean makes the living shit out of it man like i said hashtag no labs here in this crack headquarters we made the script bots that are gonna automatically update the number on the top right, man. It is gonna be great. And as Mixnar says, let the glorious RNG gods bless us. We're gonna use the red tactics to increase our fucking wealth, man. No RNG stumbling upon chats, man. Nothing. Pure as cancerous runs, do you understand me, dude? I'm gonna show you all of the ways that I know how to grind the cash. Let's buy like 10. 10 is gonna be enough, right? Not enough money? What the f I'm actually that fing poor, dude. Are you joking? I'm gonna go with this. We are officially starting the challenge. We're just gonna take Scav backpack because it is giving you the biggest amount of the slots per ruble. It's 15k, something like that. 10 to 15k, and you are getting a lot of slots. 20 slots. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with Toss Shotgun because you're not gonna be tagged and cursed with the Toss. Shotgun with the pistols, you will be. They cost like nothing. This is really cheap also. Everything is really, really cheap. I'm gonna have empty dog's case without of any keys. And I'm gonna have a scav backpack. That's it. This is how you're gonna roll. And of course, like AI tool here. And that's it. Maybe something for heavy bleeding, but yeah. This is the theoretical approach, okay? We're gonna start easy. Nighttime. Stashes. I'm assuming that stashes are still good, dude. I'm, ass I'm assuming, man. Where's the first stash? Somewhere here? <laughs> Why is he spawning here? Why the f <laughs> What the hell is he spawning here? What? Oh, f take the curse? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Mother fucking scam actually spawned on me, man. Sholen with no kiss. <laughs> I know. I know it's Sholen without two kiss, man. I know, man. Let me explain to you how YouTube works. Okay? Deadly Slob makes a video that he likes to, I don't know, uh, use uh, SP rounds uh, with the 5 for 5 39 and then everyone is using SP rounds for the f***ing three days 
and then people figure out that uh, it actually fucking sucks and then everyone quits. And every single time, when you show people how to do certain things, then everyone is doing it and it is not efficient. It is not, you know? So with doing multiple, dif multiple different ways of farming money and putting it all together in the same video, people will one time do this, second time they're gonna do, oh, it is not profitable because everyone's doing it. Oh, let me do something else. Do you understand? Guy makes a video how to level up stress res resistance with sitting in the fire, uh, fire camp here, campfire here. And then uh, people that uh, wanna level up stress resistance are trying to do it and then you have three morons sitting on the rock and killing them, you know? But if you show 10 different ways to level up stress resistance, then those morons cannot grip. And there is always room for more people to do that shit. Do you under- and Do I have any f***ing sense? Nikita banned cheaters. <laughs> ah, yes. No. <laughs> it's not open. Oh, that's unlucky. If it is open, I will just go out and reset. Bullets. So we should actually put shit inside of the gamma only that are uh, expensive when you're selling them to the vendor. That's what we should do. I think it's clear. If you kill me again, motherfucker, dude, just got one tapped through a bunch of bushes. Uh, it's thermal, dude. Chill. It's thermal. Can we sell this to the vendor? For a lot of money. Probably yes. Yes, it's here. Ooh, that's a lot of BTs. People are nading like a motherfuckers, dude. I'm scared. I do not want to go here because of a goddamn uh, people transitioning through from villas. So we're gonna skip that. We have plenty of shit to loot here, unless think Kalists ruin our day, man. Kalists, please don't ruin our day, please. Please, I'll suck your dick or some shit, man, please. It's insane. Armor? That's not bad. Not bad at all, man. I'm gonna skip this chest stash in the swamp. Because if there is a scav on the other side, he will shoot at you. And you don't want that. Oof. Oof. Ooh, baby. I'm ditching this. I'm unloading this. Let's enter in with the BTs, boys. The face shield is 200k if you survive, yes. <laughs> if you don't survive, then no. Oh, uh -huh. If it is 85 out of 85, that is gonna be big. Let's try to extract with 85 out of 85. And let's hope there is no garden scavs over there on the tunnel, man. Please. Please, no scavs. Okay. Okay. That was good. How much did we earn? 40 out of 40 is 350,000. What? Okay. <laughs> Will that even sell? I do not have to Okay. Hundred out of hundred. 85k place offer. And then when we sell this, we can sell face shield. Battery. 45k. We sold multi-tool chat. 467,000. 467,000. Oh! Math, right? Mathematician, uh, by the way. There we go. Here's the first one. And then next one should have been this bush, I think. I actually don't know. Man, look how quick I am while running. It is. And then it is on the opposite side uh, in the rock. That's a weapon. Look how quick I am. Level 17, by the way. You know? armor for these kinds of a shit, man. That's sad. Here. <laughs> Emerco makes it campers go brah. 
That's nice. Actually great. F me if I will ever find... Oh, here? Okay, those are looted. Now we just have to extract. Cha-ching! 55k here, 58k here. Wow! 30, 44k. Okay. Offer has been sold, offer has been sold, offer has been sold. 743k, boys. Next! Dear Skrarni, dude, I do not know how, but this actually fucking shit works, man. After two raids, I'm almost a mill, man. We kinda got f***ed, man, last raid, dude. If I just know where the goddamn stashes are, we would stay five minutes. If I just knew where the hell, hell is my extraction, man, maybe we would save ten more minutes, man. Completely play-based f***ing dead-ass run, dude. I love it, man. Easy money, dude! No armor to lose, no fear? Nah. <laughs> nah, dude. It is not about losing money, it's about speed. That's that's the reason why I'm not uh, having armor. That's the thing. Backpack does not have... Oof, fuck! Uh, backpack does not have uh, movement speed decrease, you know? <sighs> that's the thing. That was sad, man. Do I have a tunnel? You can't have a tunnel, huh? Oh, you can you have. No, sorry, Rock Passage. Man, if we hit uh, Rock Passage, that is gonna be big. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying, man. And nobody give a f about the stashes here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. If we ha hit extraction with this, we are actually kind of rich, man. And I'm really quick. 36 minutes in the raid. I spawned on the, on the, on the uh, residential. Okay. That was that was good. That was good. We are on 1.5 mil boys. Next raid! Next raid! APs? That's expensive, right? I do not even wanna challenge the uh, scavs here unless they see me. Silent as f boy. I love how everyone has just one thing in mind when doing the when doing the interchange. Hitting graphics cards, hitting lead access, hitting killer. That's it. There should be one more. I think I missed it. No, I didn't. And actually the same thing goes uh, for the what is the name? Uh, for the shoreline. Everyone is running lead access bitcoins graphics cards. Same shit. Meanwhile, around the map, man. Weapon? Set. Set is good, right? A rip stop should also be good, right? I do not know about the spark plugs. Probably spark plug. I need it for request, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, dude. Sharp 10. Maybe. That's probably cheap, but whatever. Okay, ready to extract, boys. It sucks that we didn't found any armor, helmets, and the rig, but whatever. We have a nice value out of it, I think. The thing is, when you're going inside of the interchange for the uh, tech spawns, you need to hit good spawn. You need. You you literally need it. If you don't get if you don't get all his spawn, you're. F this is a, uh, a a baby AK. AK one of four. Never mind. Is interchange stash route more busy? I would say it's 50-50. I would say it's the same like uh, Shoreline. But I didn't stumble upon uh, one guy. I've seen two times that somebody else opened the stash and then I just changed the route. And the thing is. When you're doing the interchange runs, when you see that somebody else opened the stash, you're f***ed. Because it is really, really, really linear. And when you're doing the stash runs in the shoreline, if you see that somebody opened the stash, you can work your way around it. You know? Shoreline stash runs are way more dynamic. Way more uh, 
open, way more, uh, way flexible, you know? That's my opinion. Like right now, what? We went in, we went out, we looted, and GG, man. Are we on 2 mil? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we hit 2 million. In, in 3 hours, 2 million. With the stash farming. A little bit more. We didn't sell like screws and uh, all of that, but yeah. When you hit the stash that is already looted, what can you do? Nothing. Because guy already like started in front of you or you missed him or whatever. I guess we're gonna, gonna meet him here, huh? You know what? Let me push even further because I'm not sure if he passed or not. I'm gonna wait him on the next stash. If he doesn't spot us, of course. I don't think he will, though. This is gonna be 200 IQ play, chat. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Yeah, go away. Here's a stash. Close. And now we wait. <laughs> the pain. How is that a challenge? Who, who said that? Can you get off my... Under it my... Stop hiding under it my table, dude! Is this Oli? It is Oli. Should we go Oli? Let's go Oli. Go, 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 go. Go Oli, go, go. Okay, dude. Oh my god, you suck dick. Holy shit. I almost killed that guy, chat. <laughs> I shot him in the face and he survived, dude. Maybe we can get lucky with some shit, huh? The thing is, even if you hit good all spawns, you kinda need to survive Techno with the graphics cards. Tetrises for the Bitcoin, though. That can boost the, the score a lot. But still it is risky, you see? It's risky. When you're running inside of the interchange, it is risky. So it all depends if you're gonna stumble upon people or not. If you don't stumble upon people, you're also relying on the RNG. Will Tetris spawn or not? Are they gonna f*** me? 7,000. <laughs> There's one more scab. When when somebody says, "Hey, I'm from uh, America," he doesn't need to say that he's a snowflake. It's by default, you know. Same thing, dude. Was that too far? The last statistics are saying that there is 45% of my uh, audience from America. Just casually bashing my fan base, you know? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna rot in hell, dude. At least now we both know... Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm dead. Oh my... Stop shit. Oh my god. Stop shooting me, stop shooting me, stop shooting <laughs> If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die happy! It's called to the old Skrarmy members. Now, let's f*** him up. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, that didn't work. Fuck, man. Okay, okay. Nice. No matter where you spawn, you're, if you know where the stashes are, you're flexible as f to avoid players. The map is way too open, you know? Well, interchange, for example, when you're doing stash runs, it is pretty, pretty linear. If you know interchange really well, the only, like, diversity that you have is if you spawn next to the only go loot, like, bitcoins and tetrises and graphics cards in Techno, right? Or if you spawn on the other side of Oli, then you go rush uh, stashes. But the thing is, even when you are forced to rush the stashes, there is a high chance that somebody else is going to loot the stashes. And then if somebody is looting stashes already, you're f your run is ruined. 
But here, no matter where you spawn, you're okay. You're f okay with looting. I'm kidding, dude, there is no cheaters in Tarkov. The only cheater that I've seen uh, in Tarkov is uh, like one cheater every like 3000 raids. Like it's really rare, man. I'm gonna close it. So in case if the person is behind me, he thinks that no one is here, you know? It's a really, really smart thing to do. I finished college for that. And you put the items next to each other and you leave rubles. So he never doubts. Like what the f is 800 rubles? Oh. What the f is 800 rubles, dude? Nothing, man. You know what, chat? I feel flexible today. That's what I'm saying, man. Shoreline is way too flexible to rat out the living shit out of the map. You know? No matter where you spawn. Sure, you can always be unlucky with the guy I'm like, I don't know, sanitar spawn and whatever. But we are the first here. Whatever you f***ing spawn, you have like best POE to loot. Or you're gonna be always first. I don't know. Shoreline is love, man. Shoreline is love, dude. It really is. 88k. Not bad, man. Not bad. <laughs> what else do we have? Battery? 40k. I actually need a battery, but dude. Today, we earn 5 mil challenge, man. I f***ing doubt we're gonna achieve it, but hey. But hey. Th this was a good run. This was a really good run. I'm selling everything, chat. Anger. Pepega warrior, look at me, dude. Wait, is this my extraction? Oh, this is not my extraction, right? Oh. We are dead. <laughs> Damn, dude. You, you know what? You know what? What would be cool? We should calculate the average amount of the items found, like average weight of the items found in the like. You know, like we should like see. What is the average weight that we extract out? And then whatever that number is, if it is, I don't know, 20, 30 kilos, let's say 30 kilos, then you're putting the uh, drives and shit in your gamma because you're running a lot. So you can actually level up strength by default with doing that. This is a really f***ing cool uh, and interesting way of doing it, to be honest. So you can like kill two flies uh, with one uh, with one stone. Man, we have a lot of currency. Oh, uh -huh. that's a lot of currency. What the? Fuck? Okay, that's it, chat. That is it man after five hours and 27 minutes of explicit stash running in the shoreline and the interchange we failed with a five million ruble challenge no keys no loadout no labs cancer toss runs today we learned a really valuable lesson first thing is stay true and stick to your goal we were dying one hour straight because of the clumsiness, because of the Pepega movement, because of a goddamn improvisation. We were supposed to just stay loyal to the stash runs, stick to the plan. If this was 100% stream of the shoreline runs, stash runs, we would successfully end up the stream with the 5 million. But hey, you can always subscribe with the notification zone.